Welcome to the next chapter. In this chapter, we will talk about the basic concept of the encryption and decryption mechanism. Let's look at the four words. Data encapsulated based on the TCP IP protocol stack is transmitted in plain text over the internet, resulting in potential risk. For example, passwords and the bank account information may be stolen or tampered with and users' identities may be impersonate. After encryption and decryption technologies are applied on the network, transmitted data is protected and to reduce the risk of the information being leaked. Right? So now we know that uh, all the information that sent over the internet are not encrypted, they are in plain text. So this is the reason why we need to learn about the concept of uh, encryption and decryption. So let's look at the objective. Upon completion of this course, we will be able to describe the development of encryption and decryption technologies to describe the processes of various encryption and decryption methods and to understand the mechanism of encryption and decryption algorithm. So these are the three contents encryption technology developments, the mechanisms, and the common encryption decryption algorithm. So first of all, let's talk about cryptography. Cryptography is the conversion of plain text, which is, you know, the data to be hidden, into cipher text, which means unreadable information, using a mathematical method. Okay, so here you can see there's a formula uh, which is, for example, C, which is the uh, cipher text, equals encrypted and followed with the key and the plain text. So what's the function of the encryption technology? So the function of, of the encryption is mainly to provide confidentiality so which means uh, we do not want our information of the file that we send over our password that we send over over the internet can be easily being seen by anyone okay so this is one of the main purpose so uh, even though anyone that's in the, on the internet that able to tap into our traffic they cannot reveal what is the actual content now the second reason is integrity now, integrity is also uh, the content which is being sent, claimed by uh, the sender, should be exactly the same as what the receiver will, should receive. No less or no more about the information and no modification of the content in between the transmission. So as we can imagine, uh, data is transmitted over various tens of different routers before it reaches its destination so we do not want the des uh, the, the data uh, being tempered or being modified all right so the next is non-repudiation now non-repudiation means if the sender if the data is being sent by a sender so we do not want the sender to deny say that hey, this information is not sent by me. It's, I, uh, my, my account has been hacked. Or maybe somebody uh, spoofed my account and sent on behalf. So this is called non-repudiation. So, so supposedly the function of this encryption technology can actually verify the sender's identity. Okay? And finally, authenticity. Now, authenticity is about authentication about a person okay so we want to verify uh, a person which is even again okay, it probably will be the sender or maybe the receiver so it's to able to perform authentication so for example if you want to perform a, um, if you want to form a, a connectivity between uh, uh, let's say for example uh, from a company uh, which is the headquarters and want to establish a connection with the uh, branches okay and the authentication is the one that probably is going to ask for username and the password 
okay so this is authentication so if nobody knows the username and password that somebody cannot access the resources right so let's look at the encryption technologies development so first we have the uh, sky taylor now sky taylor is in the <coughs> is that it's actually a tools or you can call it a patent used to perform a transposition cipher transposition okay so it's, it actually consists of a cylinder with a stripe of parchment wound around it on a written message okay so it means it, it's, it's actually have a strip of a something like a a cloth you know it's the cloth is written something and then it's actually wrapped around uh, the uh, uh, the the so-called uh, the baton okay it's a cylinder baton so in the ancient greek or maybe the spartan the spartans uh, in particular are said to have used the uh, cipher to communicate during the military campaign okay so this is actually the sky tailor now let's look at the second one is called the uh, caesar cipher now i think most of us are quite familiar with the caesar cipher um okay caesar cipher or also known as a caesar's cipher is one of the simplest and the most widely encryption techniques it is a type of substitution cipher in which each letter in the plain text is replaced by a letter some fixed number of position down the alphabet so for example with a left shift of three okay so let's say we talk about a b c d e uh, if we a left shift of d so then um, d will be replaced by a okay and e will be replaced by b and so forth and so forth okay so if you want to read something you have to understand how many characters has been shifted towards left or towards right then only you can decipher the message so the next one is called real fence cipher now real set real fence cipher is a kind of a plain text which is written downwards and then diagonally on a success and on the successive rails of an imaginary fence then moving up and when the bottom reaches uh, when the bottom rails it reach so then you move up again and you move down so just imagine if you are it's like you're writing um, some kind of a cipher characters uh, on 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 a a row of fans and then you write from up to down towards downwards diagonally and then go up all the way to the top and then go to the bottom and it become like a stream of messages okay so this is called the uh, real fans cipher now finally we have the uh, cipher machine which is actually it started to be begin popularity in the second world war when the german uh, nazi uh, they have something called the enigma uh, to perform the encryption of the of the text okay so these are the development of the encryption technologies